Hi guys, welcome to the My Hornby Hobby Christmas Special. So, happy Christmas to everyone. Christmas 2020. This year may not have been the best one, but by Jove, nothing stops Christmas. So, as you can imagine, what with the Hornby Hobby and everything, the, the best time to ask for anything Hornby related is, of course, Christmas. And, of course, I asked for pretty much every item in the Hornby catalogue. So, we've got the um, Coca-Cola tanker, um, which I quite like. I was thinking about getting the um, Coca-Cola Christmas train set and have that going around the Christmas tree as well as the Santa's Express. I think it would look quite cool because, you know, Coca-Cola is highly associated with Christmas. Um, but yeah, if I get some more wagons, then we can have a Coca-Cola train going on. Um, but I think that would look good on the food train that we've got going. Um, I forgot that I asked for this, which is the Hornby Railways um, Centenary Year uh, wagon. Yeah, 100th anniversary box van. Um, it's gone way stupid. Um, I forgot that I asked for it. I ended up buying it from eBay and then I put it on the train. Um, you've seen the video. And then the a lot of these are expansion packs or rather accessories packs. So here's accessory pack one, which is a big, big station which I'm really, really pleased about because it's got um, steps at the back, which I really, really need. Um, so I could probably switch that out with my station halt. So it's got steps at the back for people to get up. Um, it's got all sorts of little bits and pieces. So yeah, that's accessories pack one. Um, here is accessories pack two, which contains a water tower, a little cottage, um, couple of shacks, some signs, and well, you can see. I've now got all five of them. And basically, if you buy all of these accessories packs, you can then make the big thing. So here's a curved station halt, which is actually really good, because I do actually need um, some more bits and pieces. I think I'm only going to keep that station on. I don't really need any on the actual layout. So yeah, there's three. Four is here, which contains a good shed, a cottage, and some fences, which I really, really needed for the edge of the track because I've thought of a plan of what I want to do, um, which you'll probably see um, either over Christmas or sometime in the new year. So really happy about that. Here's accessories pack five, which contains um, a shed, a signal box, and a signal, obviously. So I've now got all five accessories packs, but that is not all, ladies and gentlemen. Oh no, that is not all. I asked for the modern prefab um, thing, which is basically a caravan cottage, I guess, um, which I really like the look of, and I'd love to deck it out. Um, on the inside, so then if you look through the windows, you can see the kitchen and you know everything, you know, like a little holiday home, and it looks so so good. And I've got some potted plants that would look great around there. Um, it does look fantastic. And then here we have a loading stage and crane, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna have to find a place to put that now. Um, part of the scale dale range. Uh, pretty pretty simple. We do actually now have some crates and some stuff that can fit in trucks so I could really do with making like a, a loading platform thing where you get pull in and then this crane loads up the trucks or unloads them depending on what you need to do and then you can be on your way again. Now this isn't exactly Hornby but it's Dapple and it's a Kitmaster signal box so this you actually put together so, you know, I mean, with the amount of points that I've got on my layout, I'm probably going to need two signal boxes. So, yeah, and obviously I can paint it pretty much any colour I like. And it's a good job that I actually bought some poly cement, um, you know, that um, Humbrol glue um, the other day. So I can stick all this together. Next, there are two more kits. I think these are Gauge Masters. Um... This one is, uh, this is a different station, 
from different like I think it's made to, eh, take two. It's a station building, you know, the actual building itself. And again, you just put it together. Everything's just mounted on sprues, and you just have to put it together. Then there's another one. Yeah. Which is uh, a footbridge. Yeah, footbridge. Yeah, it's the footbridge. That's what it looks like. I don't know where I'm going to put it on the layout, but it's going to look great um, somewhere. I mean, obviously, I want to make it so then you can get from like the outside. I might try and put it um, close to the turntable, maybe. So then, you know, you can stand up here. And you can look out and then the train goes underneath you. I'm trying to visualise all this as if it were real life. You know, that's what model railways are all about. You know, trying to visualise the real real world. Now, it wouldn't be a railway without locos. So here we have the 415 class 1P late BR Adams radial. Um... Now, the reason why I got this is because of Victor Tanzig. Um, his series of stories of Sodor um, were beautiful. Uh, now, I'm going to try and not spoil it for you. But in series four, um, well, just watch the episode Diagnosis. Just watch that. And I think that that episode broke the hearts of a load of fans. Um so that's the reason why I asked for this um, as a tribute. Um, that's kind of spoiled it, actually. Um, sprung buffers, and it's just absolutely gorgeous. I love it from every angle. That's going to look super good on the coach that we've got, that red one. So. But of course, that is not all. Oh, no, that is not all. Turn into Jeremy Herbert. The final thing is the one that I've been hackering for the most, which is the Ruston 48 DS John Dewar and Sons livery, or John Dewar, however you want to say it. Now, this is perfect because these things on the level will pull probably about 50 or 60 trucks. And this is what I need because everything else seems to struggle with stuff. This is going to shunt the coaches into place for the Flying Scotsman and, you know, take them away. It's going to do all the shunting. So I can't wait to get on with this. Um, the thing with the Ruston is because of the small wheelbase, it needs more pickups. So that's the reason why it's got a wagon behind it. But you can actually take that off and it will work without it. I have actually run both of these Locos in um, on the track that I had around the train set, around the Christmas tree. And it is very, very small. It's super tiny, but I love it. It looks so good. It's, it's just so tiny. Look at it. It looks so good. I love it. So yeah, I can't wait to get that on the track. And that's basically it, Hornby-wise, or rather stuff for the hobby. So yeah, I made sure to ask for what I wanted. And I hope you guys got what you wanted to. If you didn't, then there's going to be hell to pay. <laughs> Obviously, I've got tons of other stuff. It wasn't just Hornby stuff, but this is the Hornby hobby. So expansion packs. I've got kits to build. I've got two new locos. I've got more on in stock. You know, this layout's going to get bigger. So hopefully I'll be able to do an update video once everything's been built and painted. And, you know, everything's up and running and it's going to look brilliant. So that's it from me. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you enjoy your Christmas. So until next time, stay safe and thanks for watching.